Hey guys, this is Captain Jack Sparrow, and well, I, I, I've been recalled to Feed the Beast 1.64. Yeah, I'm sticking with that. I I got uh, asked by some people that are on my server to to um well come and fix the nukes. The nukes are down. And that's not good. Uh, solar Farm's kind of holding its own. UU Fab is done. The tank's full. Um, my ore's getting power. My ore production's getting power. And, well, if I had lava, it would be filling this if it needed to be filled. But it doesn't need to be because I haven't been here to use it. But here's the problem. I, I have 29,000 enriched uranium, but no MOX fuel rods and no standard uranium fuel rods. So um, I tried crafting them, and for some reason my iron plates, I don't know why they're not crafting, but they're not crafting. And it's, it's, it's trying to, for some reason, continue to craft those. Hmm. Well... Since we're in here, we definitely need to be suited up. Did I not fix this one? I didn't fix this one. Okay, well, we're going to fix this now. Kind of in between episodes with Sky Factory 2 and Infinity. So, I, I don't feel bad taking care of some, uh, some friends and family that use my server. So, let's do this. Let's go down... You're gonna make me go. Yeah, you're gonna make me do this, huh? Wait, huh? It's all. It's there and on. So what's the problem? So if you put a lever under an armor stand, you should be able to. Sh oh, shift right click. See, it's it's only been a while. Okay, and the blast door. Now we can go look at the nukes and, and effectively uh, handle whatever we need to handle down there. I've been told that this is the Resident Evil hallway. Let's see what we're looking at down here. No production, so that tells me I'm... But wait, I have quad. Do I have mocks? I have nothing. Why do I have almost a thousand duels? I wonder if somebody's been in here playing around that shouldn't have been in here. What is that? Oh, whatever it is, it's ward protected, so eh, you ain't breaking it. Okay, yeah, there's dual depleted. Okay, that's still on. But wait a minute. Oh! I bet you I know what the problem is. I bet I know. I bet the problem is my ME system's completely full. Completely full. Okay, so let's go rewind all of this. If the ME system's full, it has nowhere to put stuff, so having nowhere to, nowhere to put stuff requires everything to stop. Full. Full. Okay. Well... How do we do this? Let's see, did I create any more drives? No. Can I create more drives? Let's make uh, four of them. I don't need those for that. I don't know why that... Okay, good. I don't know why that's still there. Okay, let's go all the way down to the single item. So I guess this video could be attributed to, uh, well, how to fix a, a clogged up ME system. Start by getting rid of your single stacked items. 
Because obviously some of this stuff doesn't go in here. Hmm. Yeah, the beans and the essence, for some reason, the filing cabinets don't work in, in, this, uh, in this mod pack, so... No. Well, it's still, uh locking me out so it's still doing stuff Wait, why am I putting those in there they belong in here and here yeah I don't I don't have a lot of essences do I yeah as soon as as soon as I figured out that you could uh, you could safari net a peach and get the peach in a farm I was done breaking down items okay give me those give me those come on I know there's more in here that I don't need in here like that witch's hand oh, my inventory's full again yeah I've been battling this every few uh, few days I'll get a message saying yeah your inventory's full again the the the, the something stopped working or whatever. <laughs> Look at that. 313,000 uranium. I have a world destroyer. And I can show it to you. I can, might be able to show it to you guys. But, uh... I can show you its aftermath. I know that. Okay. How are things moving? Okay, things are starting to move again. Unplugging the system. I need sure you'll work just take the stuff I don't need in my inventory so I have more room okay let's type essence oh yeah look at all these these single ones they don't belong in here because I don't get enough of them to matter. So that's what this was for, was so I could get them into a sorting system. I think I'm going to have to create a whole new ME system for them. And what about the beans? Oh yeah, the beans are stacking up again. Look at how much space that just alleviated. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull a little bit left out of these. This, uh, Feed the Beast 164 server that I have. Um, it's, it's got a few people on it. Uh, this stuff here is all mine. That's, uh, my oldest daughter's. Then we got my middle child here. I don't know why she decided to build it so close to me. And then we've got, uh, a friend here. And his, uh, significant other have... They've made a boat, and their base is, uh, is pretty up to par with mine when it comes to size and stuff like that. And oh, Who's that? That must be my brother. Yeah, that's my brother. And then there's a couple other stragglers in here somewhere, too. Like, right, maybe right there or something? I don't know. But uh, the server's been up for probably two months, three months, three months, I think. And if you if you paid attention to the beginning of my season or series one let's play for Sky Factory. What are we waiting on? I wonder if it's cooking. Um, you'll remember I said that I was I was 
trying to alleviate some uh, a technological gain on my part so other people could catch up. Well, this is why I've, I mean, I, I've gone way overboard in this mod pack. Uh, there's pneumatic craft, uh, there's mist craft, there's d vanilla enchanting, there's Thomcraft. That believe it or not, this is where all my Thomcraft knowledge comes from. From for Sky Factory Two, or sorry, uh, Infinity. Um, we're, we can go up and visit uh, my Aura nodes. Let's change the bats. So just in case something happens, we don't die. Go up to my Aura node, Aura node storage area, and for some reason, I do I not have my goggles on me. And this will work. I mean, I've got tons of nodes right here. So I can just drop my wands in this receptacle and, well, it just works. What else do I have? Um, so yeah, so Thomcraft is here. Oh, there's my goggles. Um... And the, you, you can kind of see what I'm doing in Sky Factory 2 right here. This is all underground under my base. And I do this specifically so, one, mobs don't spawn here, and two, so I can build down instead of having to build up. And building down allows me to get really crazy. Um, to give you an idea, really crazy. Look at that molecular assembler. That is the biggest molecular assembler that I've ever built. That thing's crazy. And then on top of that, you can customize it a lot easier because as you're building out, you're building kind of modularly. Like instead of putting a, the leaving the wall here and starting another build here, I'll go out a couple more and then just leave this a sheer wall so I can use this as like a wire closet in a big uh, conference or office room, office building. But I've got... Applied Energistics strewn all throughout the building. Um, what else do I got? That is probably my least favorite item. This is my failed attempt at Pneumatic Craft Seed Planting. It worked okay, but then they updated it, and then it crashed. Yeah. So this is my an another one. Uh, this one worked okay, and then uh, they updated, and it crashed. But I still manually come in here and do it. It works fairly well for me. This is my uh, bulletproof room or explosion proof room. I've set off 50 pieces of TNT in here and nothing. Um, this is a Thomcraft rune, rune, R-U-N-E. Um, and it it's invincible except if you take the rune off. This is my emerald generator. I'll leave it at that. The... If you can see, there, there's a smeltery down there. So yeah, so this is an emerald generator, and you can only imagine what goes in the spawner. I'll leave it at that. Um, the server room. Look at what happened when they took all those beans out in the in the uh, the essences. It just started freeing stuff up. And there's my second molecular assembler. I made that one second. The third one was that big, huge one way over there. And then, let's see. UU Matter, uh, fat, uh, the UU Matter Fab. And then uh, Recycling to create the UU Matter. Um, you guys have seen kind of in there. We can come back to that in a second. This is my my essence berry bush farm and my berry bush farm so I come in here when I need a specific ingot or something or, or something specific and I, you can see I've kind of given up on the the ore style because well once you get a world destroyer you really don't need any except gold and, and essence berries I mean this is fully automated and you'll see the result of that here in a second let's see about 15 minutes and then we've got uh, my lasers for my laser assembly table my actual self-powered mob farm and then my original molecular assembler 
and you can see I've moved a lot of the stuff over to the other the large one uh, and then my power banks and I use these for powering uh, everybody's uh, on the Tesseract system there, I've ran myself completely dry. I had 10,000 Ender Pearls, and I've ran it completely dry. We pretty much clear out the nether every two days of lava. Um, and then when we go down here, this is a service level. Oh, something's working. Yeah, this is this is in between two pieces of of roof and ceiling, or roof and floor or ceiling and floor, but I can't talk. And, yeah, it's just all pipes and some other machines and this, that, and the other thing, and, yeah, so, the, the underside of the mob farm and all that mess. So we can go back up here. The mob farm's starting to wake up is what I hear. Um, and then we can go down here. Yeah, this is the tank room and power generation room. Uh, lava, uh, mob essence, XP. My, that's the th the third um, molecular assembler. This was biofuel, and I I I got tired of messing. Or no, this is creosote. I've been pumping creosote out of a miscraft world, and it runs and everything. This is garbage. I don't know why. I left this up to remind me never to try building this again. I don't know why these biogas engines are garbage. They, they, that thing's been full since I put that in place. And it's never been utilized. These work fairly well. Oh, it looks like I've gone through some turbo road. No, I haven't. I just need to fuel this again. Uh, these work fairly well. And that's why I have so many of them. And this is, again, to the World Destroyer, but I've tapered it down, too. It's on kind of like a hibernation mode. It uh, it has no power except whatever we push through with the lava generators or at the time that somebody's on working. But then uh, the infamous Nether Star generator. Uh, I'll run a, a Ender Pouch coded to this, and then I'll drop a Nether Star in it. And I'll get two minutes of massive amounts of power. And then for all you guys that are working on producing UU Matter, um, yeah, I left mine on for a week. I have enough UU Matter to make a bunch of things. I just don't know what to make. So what else do we got? Uh, I think that's my bottom floor so far. And then back upstairs this is completely sectioned off from the real world um, there's only a portal to get down here but before we do that I wanted to show you guys I think number four no that's 28 yeah in here um, in Miscraft age 4 is where my world destroyer is and to give you an idea I made where's the platform I made this platform, I nerd pulled up and made this platform so I could build the unit up in the air at this level and then release it. I released it and to give you an idea, it's been running for a very, 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 very long time. It Last time I saw it, it was fourteen th or 15,000 blocks out. Nope, it's more than that. 50,000 blocks out or something like that. Some stupid and insane amount of distance out. This is where we this is where I started doing let's plays. You can tell because the power starts to fluctuate. And once the power starts to fluctuate, that that it's I had to switch it down to a lower uh speed and and that's just as simple as changing a, a timer from I think I was pulling 15,000 blocks every every 10 seconds and I switched it from moving every 11 seconds to move every um, every minute and that'll run just off of whatever power is being created or it just sits until it can't move or until somebody powers something into the uh, Tesseract system so yeah so almost 60,000 blocks 
it's moved. And and it's not done. It's probably way further. Is I mean that was last week that I saw it there. But that should give you an idea of how far it's gone. <laughs> it's crazy. Um and you let's let me show you what it does to the ground. When you're just firing it off, that was the original size that I made small, and then I tripled it. And this is what it does to the soil. Load world. This is what it does, and hence the creosote. The creosote fills everything out here, so I've been pumping creosote and powering it with it. But you can imagine the resources you could get if you had this. These things are crazy. And I wonder, I might be able to catch up with it at a later date, but if you Google World Destroyer, um, you'll, you'll see it. There's no way I'm going to catch up to it today. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll see it. It's just crazy. Uh, it takes mining wells and ender chests, and, and uh, this one's set up with the the um, force field generators moving it. You know, if you wanted to take a mud bath, you could have done it a different way. Uh, I wonder if I can get to it from here. Yeah, so it ran into this, hence why I got called. Come, come fix it. So I came in and, and fixed it. The There's a platform above us. And it had, yeah, it was a mess. An absolute mess. Let's see. We need to turn this back down. This doesn't even matter, because this is, this is a server, so. Yeah. Um, let's see. Options. Video. And distances. Normal. But yeah, it it got to the point where I just told my buddy to start pulling off of me, off my uh, off the world destroyer because I, I don't need it if I'm not playing. If I'm doing let's plays and stuff and not spending much time on this server, there's no point in me having it, especially if it's running. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to catch up with it. Not now. It's like I said, it's been almost a week and it's gone thirty thousand blocks in a week on low power, and I know. Ooh, I'm going to die. I know my buddy's been on playing and, and generating power and moving lava tanks or lava pumps and stuff. So I know he's going to, just in sheer usage, he's inadvertently going to power it. So, Which, by the way, trying to put that out, one, one, one word, sand. Sand helped a lot dealing with that. Okay, let's go back to the regular world. And... Let's see. Do, do we have any, uh... Any... I always wonder if those are wisps. How are we doing on fuel? Definitely have some room, so let's make uh, a thousand of these. There we go. Okay, let's make... We got some of those. Let's make... Um, 300 of these. Okay, let's go check that out. And this is the small nuclear power plant, by the way. Oops. I try to always be really precautious when dealing with the nukes, even though I'm using the ultra-safe setups. Yeah, I didn't make that two-way, nor did I make this two-way.
Okay. Actually, none of my doors are two-way over here. That's weird. Okay, so I'm starting to see some lights come on. Okay, those have fueled up. This is... Ooh, what are you set up for? Okay, did I just make a whole bunch of mocks for absolutely no reason? Okay, they're coming on, so I need to go catch that. Sometimes I've caught some glitches, so... Yeah, I can stay there. Okay, we're starting to see some power again. Now let's go... Oh yeah, we can't... Oops. This would be bad. Can't run very fast with this suit on. Okay, now let's go outside real quick. Kind of running out of time here. I want to keep this to half an hour. Okay, out here we've got uh, some Thomcraft golems doing the harvesting thing. Here we've got, this is where I get all my beans. Um, looks like I'm flying as bad. This is where I get all my beans, is these two little dudes in here. And they, they All they do is harvest. I know it's golem abuse to, to lock them up like that, but oh well. Tree farm, that seems to be plugged up right now. Bees, got cocoa. Uh, that's our spawn area. This is skunk works. Um, in here is more nukes. I'm not worried about the suit. Um, and what do I got? Six, seven conversions from, uh, BC power to RF. Quad, all quad based. So, this is pushing out a whole ton of power. But it's still not enough to run the world destroyer. Which is crazy. Because on top of all that RF it's pumping out, it's still pumping out 360 times, what is it, uh, times 12 or 13, I think? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 10, 11, so times 11. And this is all automated, except for the creation of fuel rods. So let's see, 162 fuel rods, that's not nearly enough. Let's do 3,000. I don't, I think it might, I don't know if it's done, but we're going to make it make 3,000. And then let's see, so that's all that's in here is, is uh, nuclear cores. My sign's still broken? Yep, my sign's still broken. I don't know what's up with that. That happened when they updated also. The community smeltery I set up for everybody. Community enchanting room. This is, uh... This room here is kind of unique. It's got our, our rules for the server. And, and I started throwing some stuff in here for some decorations. And... Uh, some buggy stuff happened on the server when they updated. These disappeared and never came back. Um, I taunt people with ender pearls and, and, and redstone and diamonds and lapis. But they can't break this. I can break it, but they can't break it because of, well, pneumatic, uh, pneumatic crafts security system won't allow them to. They'll get an error when they try to break it. So, um, that being said... This room is kind of protected, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's got our our uh, portal in here. And like I said, let me show you what happens to the lava when I get on a server or on a computer and play in, in, uh, play in the nether. 
Oops. Oops. That's the wrong way. Hi, Wisp. Bye, Wisp. So, as you can see, there's now a... Yeah, that's not happening. There's a slope to all of these, and you can see them. Look at the map. There's one. There's one. There's one. They are all over the place. I have decimated, decimated the nether for its lava. Now that doesn't mean there isn't more lava here. Really? Yeah, not happening. How did that miss? Anyways, guys, that's what I was talking about. That's why I uh, I don't care to use this this time. I really don't want to mess up the nether and, and make it look all nasty and ugly. Because, well, that and I think the lava generators, I've done it so many times, it feels dodgy. So, like I said, guys, uh, I'm not going to do it. And with that said, we've definitely ran to our uh, our cut time so guys if you like what i'm doing here if you enjoy my series if you enjoy just watching me play and screwing up and make making a mess of things uh hit that like button if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and i'll keep putting out videos for you guys thanks and i'll see you in the next episode